Penn, Seychelles. Seychelles is a small island country in the Indian Ocean. Apart from the country's natural attractiveness, foreign investment has increased dramatically. The majority of the funds come from foreign investors who are enticed by a variety of benefits. The country's advanced communication system is one of the reasons why foreign companies want to invest there. The government has spent time and money laying optical fiber cables to connect the country to other African countries for trade. Seychelles is also trying hard to grow its tourism industry. It continues to attract millions of dollars in investment due to its beautiful beaches. 9. Togo Togo is a small West African country with a population of 7.9 million people. An online construction permit platform is one of Togo's top enhancements as it alleviates investor concerns and saves developers time. The government is becoming increasingly cognizant of the importance of aiding and rewarding the private sector in its job creation efforts. According to a World Bank news release, Togo is on the top improvers list for the second year in a row, thanks to measures such as lower building permit fees and simpler property registration procedures. It has been voted Africa's best performer in terms of ease of doing business for the second year in a row. Eight, Botswana. Botswana is politically secure, and despite its small population of slightly more than 2 million people, it is an excellent place to invest and profit. Botswana's good economic success has been aided by diamond mining, prudent fiscal policies, international financial and technical assistance, and a cautious foreign policy. Though diamonds and other minerals account for a major component of the Botswana economy, the country also has a sizable financial reserve and has expanded its manufacturing sector, diversifying the economy. Other sectors will be able to flourish as the country's reliance on minerals deepens. Poverty has diminished and education has become more widely available across the country. Botswana has one of Africa's most stable and prosperous economies. Botswana will not be left behind as technology becomes a barometer of international growth. Botswana's government-backed innovation hub aims to bring together startups, major corporations, research and health institutes, and other organizations under one enormous green roof to assist the country's technology grow. Botswana has had and continues to have the highest average growth rate in the world, at over 9%, since gaining independence from Britain in 1966. Botswana's GDP per capita has climbed from $70 to $14,000, putting it in the upper middle income bracket with Chile and Argentina. 7. Zambia Zambia, a country in southern Africa, has had one of the fastest growing economies in the last 10 years. Lusaka, the country's capital, is home to the country's most important commercial centers, as well as the majority of Zambia's urban population. The privatization of its mining sector has attracted international investors in recent years. It is the world's largest producer of copper-rich natural resources, and its agriculture industry is growing. Despite the absence of diversification and excessive reliance on copper trading, Zambia is ranked seventh on this list. People doing business in Zambia will find a relatively stable political climate, as well as positive economic progress in recent years. The World Bank's most recent reports praise the country's progress in a variety of areas, including obtaining credit and paying taxes. Zambia improved loan access by enacting a new Movable Property Act and establishing a new collateral registry. The new law established a working framework for secure transactions. The collateral registry is operational, geographically unified, searchable by the unique identifier of a debtor, modern, and notice-based. Zambia also made it easier to pay taxes by introducing an online platform for filing and paying taxes. The reduction of the property transfer tax rate also made taxes less expensive. 6. South Africa South Africa has a wealth of natural resources, as well as well-developed financial, legal, communications, energy, and transportation industries, as well as Africa's largest and one of the world's top 20 stock exchanges. Farming, mining, and manufacturing are the primary drivers of the country's economy, but tourist potential should not be overlooked, as it is equally thriving in South Africa. South Africa has the most liquid financial market in Africa, 
with a population of 55.9 million people and a GDP of 354 billion US dollars. Furthermore, many international investors see it as a place to start investment. South Africa has also undertaken structural reforms, such as privatization of state-owned firms. The country can easily retake first place if the authorities actively pursue the reform agenda. It's also worth noting that South African colleges are mostly made up of Africa's best, assuring that the country will continue to develop some of the world's most outstanding innovations. South African invention includes DSDV, a global South African company, PayPal, which was co-founded by a South African, CAT Scan, Mark Shuttleworth's Linux Ubuntu, and Sassel Technology. 5. Tunisia Tunisia is one of the most peaceful countries in North Africa, and it ranks as Africa's fifth best country for business on our list. According to the global lender, Tunisia is placed 78th in the world in terms of ease of doing business, and sixth in Africa. Despite a number of major security concerns in recent years, the country's economy has been steadily growing since 2011. Textiles and apparel, food, petroleum products, chemicals and phosphates are some of the country's most important exports, with the EU accounting for nearly 80% of total exports. The young nation has an incredible literacy rate of 80%, and the average age is 18 to 25 years old. This suggests that Tunisia has a big number of skilled young workers. In addition to increasing security, the government has secured commercial stability. To gain the trust of investors, the government reduced the tax to roughly 25 to 30% a few years ago. The majority of people in the country speak Arabic. As a result, investors from the Middle East will have no problems. A sizable segment of the population, including people from Europe and America, speaks French and English fluently. It has well-developed infrastructure, educated residents, and a GDP of $46.99 billion, which is growing at a pace of 2.5% each year. Four, Kenya. Kenya has one of the fastest growing economies in Africa and the world's third fastest. The country is located on Africa's eastern coast and serves as a transportation hub and gateway to the continent. Nairobi, its capital, is the largest city between Cairo and Johannesburg. It has a population of approximately 48.5 million people. According to 2015 estimates, Kenya's GDP was $69.977 billion, ranking it 72nd in the world. The GDP per capita was estimated to be $1,587. In 2020, Kenya was included in the list of the most economical new business countries in Africa. The World Bank predicts at least 5% growth this year. Not only does the country have a stable political system, but has favorable weather conditions. Kenya's outstanding feature is its diversity and steady growth in customer demand. In addition, increased urbanization, improved infrastructure, and methodical changes benefit the country. Kenya enhanced its electrical reliability by investing in distribution lines and transformers, as well as establishing a specialist squad to restore power when outages occur. Kenya is unquestionably one of the most technologically advanced African countries. The country is seeing a number of startup companies with revolutionary ideas, particularly in the IT industry. And all else being equal, this is likely to continue with a lot of startups that may eventually establish international platforms for further technology growth. Kenyan inventions include Anthony Mutual's charging sneaker and a 44-year-old Nairobi resident's alarm-fitted television, a solar-powered refrigerator that allows drugs such as immunizations and precious perishables to reach remote sections of rural cities where there is no possibility of obtaining energy, and Moses Jachanga's drone that can fly for up to two hours at a time. Agriculture, forestry and fishing, mining and minerals, industrial manufacturing, energy, tourism and financial services are among the major industries driving the country's economy, with strong property rights, a mature, diverse economy and better infrastructure. We are confident that all of this demonstrates why Kenya is one of the best African countries in which to invest or start a business. Three, Morocco. 
Morocco, known for its rich culture, breathtaking scenery, and delectable cuisine, is also listed as one of the easiest African countries to do business with this year. Morocco is a major player in African economic affairs, and we are confident that it will continue to make progress and remain a top economic performer. Meanwhile, agriculture, tourism, aerospace, automotive, phosphates, textiles, apparel, and subcomponents continue to be the best performing industries and growth drivers in the country, with increasing foreign investment in the aeronautic and automotive industries also playing a role in economic expansion. Morocco's competitiveness is increasing as a result of industrial development strategies and infrastructure upgrades, the most prominent of which is the establishment of a new port and free trade zone near Tangier. Morocco likewise intends to grow its renewable energy capacity, with the goal of having renewables account for more than half of the country's installed electricity generation capacity by 2030, rating 17th in market performance, 21st in monetary freedom, and 70th in the Global Competitiveness Report of 2016 to 2017. Morocco is Africa's third best country for business. Two, Rwanda. Rwanda, a country in East Africa, is rich in natural resources such as minerals and agriculture, making it a rural country with 90% of the population dependent on agriculture and minerals for survival. Rwanda's main sources of foreign exchange include tourism, minerals, coffee, and tea. Since 1994, Rwandan genocide, the country has recovered at an astonishing rate. Rwanda ranks high among Africa's most peaceful countries and among the easiest African countries to invest in in 2018, illustrating how the country has recovered from its previous difficulties. This high business ranking is the result of numerous reforms that have made the country more appealing to investors. The percentage of people living in poverty in the country declined from 57% in 2005 to 45% in 2010, and the figure is still falling. Rwanda today sees lowering the country's dependency on foreign aid as a strategy of achieving economic independence through mobilizing domestic resources and boosting domestic savings. It also hopes to be Africa's regional information technology powerhouse. In this regard, the country has started a planned 4G LTE broadband network, which will provide new opportunities for improved service delivery across the country. At the same time, the country is experimenting with numerous sorts of technology and we may soon be able to witness mind-boggling results, so you don't have to be concerned. One, Mauritius. This island off the coast of East Africa is one of the countries that has set the benchmark for ease of doing business. It will amaze you that the country has successfully transitioned its economy from a low-income agricultural-based economy to a diversified upper-middle-income economy with expanding financial, industrial, and tourism sectors, as well as sound economic regulations and prudent banking practices. Political and social stability are the primary concerns of any worldwide investor. So here's the deal, Mauritius is the 21st most peaceful country in the world, with one of Africa's strongest democracies. Trade freedom is ranked 4th, while property rights is ranked 34th. In terms of acquiring building permits and other licenses, Mauritius beats the majority of African countries. In Mauritius, starting a business takes only 6 days, registering a property takes 14 days, and getting power takes 81 days. The country's efficient and transparent regulatory system encourages relatively broad-based economic development.